So there is a connection between women, diabetes, and cardiovascular disease. For example, I have this patient that I see. She's a very petite female, young. You would not guess somebody who would be having heart disease because when we think of heart disease, we picture somebody who is obese, somebody who is either very old or somebody who has a lot of other illnesses. And then we think, oh, they probably have heart disease. But when you see a young, uh, thin, petite-looking woman, uh, woman in her late 30s, and she comes with some chest pain, you don't think of heart disease as the first thing. You think maybe she's got some emotional issues, maybe she has some acid reflux, maybe she hurt her chest doing workout in the gym. But then you take history, and you, she tells you she's been diabetic for 20 years. So that changes your perspective completely. Though externally she is a healthy looking petite young woman but her body has been exposed to diabetes for 20 years and uh, as we know diabetes causes injury to the artery lining because of the fact that these arteries have been injured over long periods of time they're more likely to develop plaque in them and more likely to develop blockages in them and then you, I took further history and she also has a little bit of a cholesterol problem and her cholesterol is actually not very high but her good cholesterol is very low which is also something very important to understand in a person who's diabetic that their total cholesterol may not be very high, but their breakdown of cholesterol may be very detrimental to their cardiovascular health. That means that the good cholesterol may be low and the bad cholesterol may be only slightly high, but that low good cholesterol has a very, very negative effect on our body in terms of developing heart disease. So with those factors present, she was tested and she actually was found to have heart disease which was successfully treated with a stenting and her pain went away and obviously she's doing really well but because of the fact that she's diabetic makes us think differently about her than any other person that we would see so these two factors diabetes and also smoking in women really are main things which will really make us think of them being diagnosed of having heart disease if they're having heart disease symptoms at a lot younger age then you would normally expect a female to develop heart disease, usually in their 50s, but they can develop heart disease in their late 30s or 40s if they're diabetic or if they have smoked before.